Okay. Hello, Arnit. <laughs> Hi, Kinga. I'm so happy that you have accepted my invitation for this podcast. It's my absolute pleasure. Thank you for inviting. <laughs> it's my honor to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. So my uh, guest is Arnit uh, Kaur, who's an amazing mother, businesswoman, uh, and who has been living in the UAE for how many years? 20 years now. 20 years now, <laughs> and uh, she has accepted my invitation. I'm very proudly calling her a friend. <laughs> yes. Uh, and, uh, and she's a really, really big support for me here <laughs> in Dubai. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kinga. So I'm going to have a few questions, so casual sure. interview. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right, so uh, why Dubai? What brought you to Dubai? So, yeah, actually, I don't know anything about the country. When I got married, uh, I was in India actually, and when I got married, I had my kids there. So my, uh, who's my ex-husband now, my husband then, he actually came to Dubai to just to visit. And he just absolutely fell in love with the country. So it was like 20 years ago and he decided like when he came home, he told me that we are packing our bags and we are just moving to Dubai. And it was a challenge, you know, taking uh, small kids and everything. But then, you know, he'd already made up his mind. So that's what we did. We just packed up our game. <laughs> Amazing. <Yeah. laughs> and uh, what was your experience? So, well, my experience was completely in awe because I love this country. Seriously, it is like, um, you know, it's very close from India. So it's not far, like three hours flight. That was an additional thing. Plus, uh, this country has everything to offer. You know, you can have, being from India, like my biggest concerns were, you know, doing household chores, <laughs> you know, and uh, taking care of the children and everything. There's so much to do in a house, right? So, but if you really see this is, uh, you know, a luxury uh, kind of India where you can afford everything and uh, experience the great luxury and uh, the safety of uh, Dubai. So, which I, which we really, really appreciate and we've enjoyed living here. I cannot, uh, you know, see myself living in any other part of the world except Dubai. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah. I, I am on the same page yeah. as you are. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Now, you mentioned safety and this is my next question. Mm -hmm. uh, you as a woman, you as a beautiful lady, mm -hmm. uh, how safe do you find Dubai? Absolutely safe, actually, you know, I've actually done, you know, go out on the roads, walk like a beach, you know, at the beach, like 2 a.m. and stuff like that. So I always make plans, you know, with my with my girlfriends and we go out and sometimes we like, you know, come at 2, 2, 33. I've never faced any kind of a concern, you know, going alone, sending kids. It's it's a very safe place, actually, to raise kids because the environment is so uh, protected, you know. And uh, I had no fear sending my girl away for a movie night, go out with friends. I know that they're safe. So Amazing. Yeah. yeah. This is exactly how I feel. Yeah. So uh, the kids went to school here, right? Yes, they did. What's your experience about the school system? So the school system was pretty good, actually. Um, initially when I came, because my, uh, you know, your, my, my daughter was in Indian curriculum in India. So when I brought her here, we had put them in the Indian curriculum. Though the schools are good and everything, but I wanted them to have more, you know, different exposure as we were planning to send them away for higher studies in different countries. So that's what we did. We changed their school. But it was amazing. One day it was just an incident like my, my son. Uh, I changed his school to IB from Indian curriculum. And he came with me, came to me and he said, Mom, can I have your grocery list? And I was like, why? I want to check your needs and wants. Okay, and I was like, okay, so there was a school project, which is actually really good because the way you instill, these are the things which you do every day. And, you know, he was checking me on, oh, you know, these are your needs and these are your wants. I was like, okay. <laughs> That's amazing. I know. <laughs> It's very cute. <laughs> It is very cute, I know. <laughs> amazing. And um, now you are running a very successful business. Yes. Uh, you are bringing um, real wood yes. floors, yes. Uh, which are absolutely stunning yeah. and I told you many times that yes. ever if I ever um, renovate my home <laughs> yes. I'm going to put the real wooden floor from absolutely. your shop because they are yeah. so beautiful thank you so much thank you. I always say that here in Dubai I am being treated as a princess yes, even absolutely. though I am not but yeah. uh, this is how people make me feel absolutely and uh, and and there is uh, another thing that I have noticed as a difference 
mm-hmm. being a woman entrepreneur here, mm-hmm. is that people not only t- treating me equal, they are treating me better. Yes, absolutely. They so, do that. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good opportunity, right? you know. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, how much tax have you paid since living here? So tax zero. <laughs> I've not paid anything. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amazing. Nothing, and yeah. how much tax would you have paid in India? Uh, oh, about about 33%. 33%. Yeah, okay. that's the highest bracket which you pay. So yeah, yeah, about that. So it, I can safely say that it was a good decision. It was a good decision. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Very good. And what advice would you give to someone who is hesitating to move to Dubai? I would really tell them, you know, you need to just come and experience this country. Just come as a visitor. You know, have a look and feel. You you can really talk to people, get to know you. You I um I mean, my friend who's just come to visit from US. This is the first time she visited, and uh, whatever she read on the internet, I don't know. She had so many uh, concerns. Oh, you know, we cannot wear that. We cannot do this and all that. And when she came here, and she was like, everything is so good. I mean, and then it's it changed her perspective. She could see that it's a very open country where you can actually come live and settle. So I think there is no concern. I mean, come here as a tourist, you know, have a, just see the vibe of the place and everything, go around, see how things are done. And I really, truly feel that they will definitely fall in love with the place. I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. And um, uh, if you were to give any advice to your 20 years self, yeah. what would it be? <laughs> I should have come here sooner. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would say. Sooner the better. <laughs> That's very nice. Yes. <laughs> amazing, amazing. And uh, your kids uh, live here or they are planning to come back? Yes, absolutely. So both my kids, my daughter is right now in New Zealand mm-hmm. and uh, she's doing a job there. And my son is studying in Vancouver in a university. He's doing um, um mechanical engineering. Oh, and my son has made it very clear to me as soon as I finish... I'm moving back to Dubai. There is no other place like Dubai. And good for me, my daughter has also decided she's uh, getting married in November and she's uh, moving with her husband here next year. Oh, fantastic. So you'll have all the kids here. Yes, enjoying the family business. So we'll definitely have more hands then. Amazing. Mm. Uh, What are your plans for the next five years? Next five years. My plans are just to expand expand all over UAE, in Gulf region. I want to go to Saudi. I want to, you know, send my floors to Africa because this is the one destination where it's very easy to do business in all the Gulf and African countries. So Amazing, amazing. And how easy do you find it to, uh, because you are importing the floors, right? Yeah. yeah. So how easy do you find uh, Dubai as in terms of logistics? Uh, pretty easy, actually. You've got a lot, lot many options here. So even in terms of, uh, you know, uh, storing my products, you know, if I don't want to buy um, a warehouse or something, I don't want to rent it or stuff, it's pretty easy to get the, the third-party warehouses, which are pretty cheap and economical. So you don't get, you know, overheads. Once you're starting your business, you don't wear, want too many overheads. And this is a perfect place. You have many choices. So I'm, I'm pretty glad. To, I've been like, uh, you know, not long into this business yet, but zero uh you know overheads and plus i'm doing pretty well in this country really well no amazing. complaints at all good opportunities amazing amazing yeah and here is a very provocative question but just remember and keep in mind that this podcast is for uh, people who are not living in the ua right so um, how much uh, electricity bill do you pay a month oh <laughs> okay <laughs> i will pay around around 500 dirhams approximately it's which is in in, uh, in dollars 150 dollars yeah but it's including cooling as well. Uh, no, for my uh, place, there's cooling, which is separate. Okay. But of course, there are many towers here, which include it includes the cooling. So mine one is different. It was around 200 dirhams extra for that. Okay, so $150 a month, including water, electricity. Yes, yes, yes. Everything. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, do you know what is the tax on real estate? How much tax uh, do you pay on real estate? Well, well there is no tax as such. No, no tax. tax on no real estate. No tax at all. I'm, I'm buying actually buying a property here. This is the very booming market to buy property. And that's what I'm doing. I'm investing right now. 
And why did you decide to invest in property here? So, um, you know, for me, I've been like searching a lot because obviously you want your wealth to grow, right? You're working so hard and you want your money to work for you. So that's when we decided and I did a lot of research on various areas. It's a very booming market. A lot of tourists come here every year. And with the future predictions, you know, they, as we can see, they, they cannot accommodate like so many flights coming into the airport. They're moving their airport to a bigger area to accommodate, you know, people coming in. So we definitely see it as a booming market. We did our research, the ROI you can expect if you're going into short-term rentals, like 10 to 11% and more than that, actually. So which is pretty good. And where do you get such kind of returns? I don't really see. So I 100% agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for this insightful interview. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Thank you so much, Kinga. And I wish you the best of luck as thank always. You. I wish your business to expand beyond your uh, plans and imaginations. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah.